Hey everybody, it's Haneke again, and today I want to give you a little history lesson. I want to talk about the motherload and how it is in fact a historical relic from the past. Now there's three ways that I know of that you can encounter the motherload. The first way is of course to side with Foundation when you do the Vault 79 quest, in which case the motherload becomes an important member of the team when you want to enter into that vault. The second way is to do the event Breach and Clear, which happens in the Ash Heap region. During that quest, a vehicle that looks suspiciously like the Motherload, but with a couple of differences, pops out of the ground and you have to empty containers attached to its body, which have minerals and things in them, before it goes back underground again. And the third way you can encounter the Motherload is to go to one of five spawn points across the map where it will come out of the ground and you can use it to fast travel. Let's start at the location that I've called Motherlode East Spawn Point. I want to start there because it's right next to the current Atlas Observatory, which is a free fast travel point, so you can get there easily and cheaply. The main problem with using the mother load for fast travel is that it's a bit slow and clumsy. When you encounter it out on the map, you can click on it and you can travel to the deep, which of course is where the communist bunker is in the grounds of the White Springs that you come into contact with during the pre-missions for the Vault 79 raid. Once you're at the deep, you can click on it again and it will allow you to go to one of four different locations across the map. This makes it a bit slow and clumsy because to select a different location you have to go back to the deep again. So it really is doubling up and, and giving you unnecessary steps. The reason I'm saying it's a historical relic from the past is because it used to be one of the only ways you could do free fast travel around the map. When I first started playing this game, around the Wastelanders update, at that stage there was no free fast travel to the factions. You couldn't free fast travel to Foundation and Crater, and Atlas Observatory didn't even exist at all. The only free fast travel point at that stage was to Vault 76, which is where you very first come out when you're a baby level 2 character. So at that stage, free fast traveling around the place in the mother load was probably a good idea, it helped you to discover new locations, and it helped you to get to different parts of the map quickly. Well, quickly-ish. But now that we have free fast travel to the faction hubs, the mother load is a cumbersome and outdated way to travel around, really only with novelty value and nothing else now. So for the value of novelty, I'm going to show you where the spawn points are, and I suggest you give it a try just for experience sake and so you can tell all your friends that you travelled by Motherload. But you'll probably only do it once and then never again because it really is a bit cumbersome. And it's really much faster to just pay the caps that it costs to travel somewhere or travel to one of the faction hubs now. So that's everything for this video, just a quickie today, and I hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in my next video, which will be coming out soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps me to grow my channel, and the more my channel grows, the more content I can bring to you. I will see you around Appalachia, until then, this is Haneke signing out.